have a 3D model that I'd like our, our doctor to walk over to, and it kind of will explain to you, and I think you're going to walk us through how the spine works. So let's take that 3D model, if we can. Doctor, walk over there and kind of give us, you know, a little one-on-one, -on -one, uh, education one-on-one -on, -one on the spine and the anatomy, if you will. Absolutely, happy to. So this is a side view of the human spine. You can see the angle of the jaw, and that's the section of the jaw right there. And uh, uh, these are the vertebrae starting from the first all the way down to the seventh. Now, you see that there are these gray stripes between the bones. Those are the discs. Now, discs are actually, as you can imagine, dynamic, soft, cushioning objects that provide very important space. Do you see these little small channels that are right behind the discs? They're less visible here. These are the very channels where the nerves coming from the brain exit the neck on their way down to their arms. So for example, if a patient has pain sort of on the thumb side and the back of the wrist, that's frequently the C5-6 disc and the C6 nerve. That's a very common problem. And as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, it would be the nerve exiting between these two bones. So when patients have extremity symptoms, it's easy to trace the pain back to which disc is the problem. And then usually we obtain an MRI to confirm.